2026 is almost here. And if you're still unsure of your first digital product, this might be the opportunity you've been waiting for. I recently found a simple design idea with a lot of potential to perform well. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the full step-by-step -step process of how to get started. Before you create any digital product, you need to understand why this idea works. This will make you avoid uploading random designs and not hoping for luck. So the first thing I'll do is break down the exact reason this design has strong potential preformed consistently in 2026. To do this the right way, we need a proper product research strategy. And there are two ways to approach it, with the second method being the simplest. In the first method, we need to search for the keyword we're targeting. And for this illustration, I'll be using wall art. After that, I'll go to filter and select star seller. Then in the URL of this page, I will change the star to best. This way I get to see only the best preforming designs. Then we go to each listing to check whether it has recent engagement or if it's still being added to people's cards. But the downside of this method is that it takes a lot of time because you have to apply this step to every digital product you come across. And this is where the second method becomes very useful. In this second method, we'll be using Allura and I already have the Allura extension installed. Now you'll notice the Allura icon on each of the search results. You can click on it to instantly see the performance insights for each listing. However, a faster way is to click the Allura icon on the side panel. This will show the estimated revenue of all products at once, allowing you to filter them by stronger results and even by date. That way, we can easily focus on listings that were added recently and are still getting good traction. For example, I found this wall art niche called Maximalist Wall Art, and one of the listings was created just a year ago, yet it has already generated a solid amount in overall revenue. Another listing created early this year has also made good amount, and you can also see several other listings in the niche showing strong engagement as well. Now one of the biggest advantages of selling digital wall art is that we can also apply this same design to physical products without keeping any inventory, and this increases your profit margin compared to selling only digital downloads. And I found Printify to be the best platform to handle this smoothly. Here's why. Because with a platform like Printify, selling physical products has never been more convenient. Printify offers a wide range of popular white label products that you can easily print your designs on. It also integrates directly with popular online stores and with the Printify AI model, you can automatically generate optimized searchable product information. Your design will be listed on your store automatically. And when a customer makes a purchase, Printify manages both printing and shipping without you handling the product directly. Keep watching because I'll show you step by step how to set this up. Before we start designing, I want to make something clear. Selling on Etsy is amazing, especially if you're just getting started. But it's still important to build an online store outside of Etsy so you can grow both side by side because sometimes Etsy can limit or deactivate your account without any clear explanation. Having your own store protects your business and gives you full control. And the setup is simple. Once you choose your platform, the next step is picking your domain name. Instead of going with a .com, I strongly recommend using a .store domain. Here's why. Because websites with .store domain often receive higher engagement and can appear more relevant on Google compared to generic domains. Shoppers immediately recognize .store domain as a place to buy, which helps increase trust and visibility. That's exactly why global icons like Mr. Beast, Cristiano Ronaldo, Rihanna, and Emirates Airlines all use .store domains for their brands. Getting .store domain usually costs around $29, but if you head to checkout and use the coupon code NDOTA, you'll get it at a discounted price with privacy protection included. Even if privacy protection is off, you still get the domain at a reduced price for the first year. And that's not all. You'll also get free access to the plus version of Elevate.store when you register .store domain. This premium toolkit is designed to help online sellers grow faster and includes deals and discounts for essential tools like like Canva, Shopify, and AutoDS, all free, just for choosing .store domain. Now to create this design with AI, I will be using Leonardo AI, but before that, I have to write my prompt. A vibrant koi fish swimming among cherry blossoms with ornate golden waves and layered Asian patterns in a maximalist art style. Once I was done, I headed over to Leonardo AI and clicked on image generation. Once inside, I selected GPT Image 1 as my AI model, turned off prompt magic, selected dynamic as the style, set my aspect ratio to 2-3, and after generating, this is the result I got. And after
After trying another prompt, I was able to get a strong result, but these weren't all the prompts I crafted. I have a list of prompts you can use to create similar designs. I also created a wall art starter pack that provides you with 600 prompts, 25 wall art quality mockups, 10 thank you pages, and an SEO and art sizing guide that will help you in your production. The link will be in the description. And a special thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this possible. Now that you have your final design, the next step is making it print ready for Printify. Start by upscaling your artwork using a tool like Let's Enhance. This boosts the resolution and ensures the best print clarity. Once that's done, upload it to Printify to prepare it for printing. After integrating your online store with Printify, use poster product and import your design into their white label catalog. After this, Printify will automatically create basic product details for you. But to make your listing stand out and appear more searchable, use the Printify AI model. Just give it a short description of your product and it will generate an optimized title, description and tag suggestions for you. When everything looks good, click upload. Finally, if this tutorial helped you, grab my prompt list in the description. It'll save you hours of guesswork. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.